Hey there everybody, this is Starlet44 bringing you another commentary. This time on the TTT short Percy's Crush that I made for Children in Need for 2017. And as many of the comments say in the video, this is obviously based off of a Sonic Boom episode called Tails' is Crush. And it was one of those few episodes of Sonic Boom that actually really, I really liked a lot. And I just decided I really wanted to do a some sort of video based on it, and I thought, why not give Percy a girlfriend? And that girlfriend turned out to be Millie from the TV series, voiced by the lovely Rosie the Cutie 1995. And another reason I loved that short was because of the little subplot with Dr. Robotnik trying to get a parcel from the post office, and for that bit in this video I just decided to use Dalek Sec because I felt he was the perfect person to go through that bullshit, you know how post offices work and it's also reflecting on my experiences with going to collect parcels from the post office, I'm not all very happy with their system. It's like you gotta go up there with your your ID and whatnot and and you can't really send someone to get it for you because they don't normally accept anyone's ID and that's just your ID. So yeah, it's based on my love of that subplot and how much I hate the way some kind of post office collection people work. Yeah, and you might have noticed there's a lot of... <laughs> yeah, I had to bring back that old guy. And that bit with him being told to shut up by Thomas was actually based off of a one of the teaser trailers that they did for DreamWorks Puss in Boots where two cats do the oh Puss tells them to shut up and they go oh yeah I just decided that I had to use that in a video uh, what was I saying uh, oh yeah the, the cameos in that in the video yeah, a lot of various Lego characters make cameos in this video, like you see the Twelfth Doctor, Hans Mole Man, and the TARDIS, the Ooh guy, and whatnot. And we see a lot more of them throughout this video. And, and those moments where Percy's holding the a Miffy the Bunny notebook is based on how I used to watch Miffy and Friends on CITV when I was y younger. Because when they played Thomas and Friends Series 7 on CITV, they played it alongside Miffy and Friends. So that was a reflection of how I used to watch Miffy and Friends. And with, with this bit with Thomas showing Percy how to play it cool, right? It was obviously based off of that moment from Tales of Crush, but with my own comedy added into it as well. Like, Rosie's playing along with it, but they break out of it just to talk about their date that evening. Because, well, they're Thomas and Rosie, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And I should probably talk about why I chose Millie to be the love interest for this video. Yes, I honestly love Millie from Thomas and Friends, and she's just one of my one of the cutest characters in the TV series, in my opinion. And I just thought, why not have her be part of my universe and just make her be Percy's love interest? And when it came to finding a voice actress for the character, Rosie the Cutie 1995 was my first choice because I've heard her do an impression of her in in a video that she did a while ago and I just thought, that's my Millie. So, yeah, just decided to do that. Oh, and this bit just makes me crack up where it's like, no one came to pick up the parcel, I came to fucking pick it up. An, an interesting bit of trivia for you, I, I was actually recording the Dalek Sec at the post office lines with Boris Fangirl who voices Unikitty. Like, we did a chat on Facebook and we just decided to do those bits together. And when I shouted I came to fucking pick it up, Blake actually laughed her head off at that line. <laughs> and I still have the recording, but 
I just didn't really include it in there. Although, if I do another outtakes video, like I did a few years ago, I may end up putting that in there, because I, I do love a good goof every now and then. You know, I just love putting in goofs every now and then. Oh, and earlier you may have noticed my big Mojo Jojo that I used to use for his cameos. That was a bobblehead Mojo Jojo that I got from Kellogg cereals years ago because they were doing this Cartoon Network characters bobblehead thing at the time. And Mojo Jojo was one of them and I used to love giving him cameos every now and then in my videos. But ever since I got the the Mojo Jojo Leggy minifigure, I started using that instead. Because it's a little more accurate to his size in the universe. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's why I stopped using that version of Mojo. Oh, and this bit, you see Rosie's... Uh, uh, not Rosie, Emily. Emily's driver had fallen over. And I actually didn't really notice that until after I filmed it. Somehow, I somehow didn't notice it until after I finished doing this bit of this video. But I decided to... I just didn't really bother to pick him back up in the end. If I remember rightly, I may have tried to pick him back up and put him back up right a few times. And he just kept falling over and I guess I couldn't be bothered to try again. <laughs> Excuse me. So I just decided to leave that in and... Yeah, that kind of thing happens from time to time when I'm laying down my minifigures somewhere. And it just tends to happen and sometimes I do my best to sort out the problem and other times I just can't be asked. And that hairpiece that Percy's wearing is actually came from my custom Mr. Bean minifigure that I bought from Firestartoys.com. I don't know why, I just thought that Mr. Bean's hair was perfect for the scene. <laughs> and we get an appearance from the Sodor mail van from Mind That Bike. And that line, not this train wreck again, was obviously in the original Sonic Boom episode, but I just had to add that no pun intended bit because, because he says like, it's a train wreck and it's a video about talking trains so it just felt like a no-brainer to add in that no pun intended line oh and here's Bill and Ben the tank engine twins I love these two and I really am pleased that I got these these wooden railway models because I've been using the those custom ones for years and they just didn't look much like Bill and Ben in hindsight <laughs> so, whenever Bill and Ben pop up again, you're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of him there, than there, yeah. Percy, are you feeling okay? And you might have noticed in many of the videos I've done for a while, I've always wanted to get the characters' faces as accurate to the TV show as possible, but with a few, like, non-TV show faces here and there. Yeah. yeah, when I was, uh, like, say with Percy's confused and mad and sad faces in this video, I, I've been looking at photos on the Thomas Wiki page for inspiration. You know, just to get a clear idea of what I was drawing on paint. And it's just a classic video of some guy trying to get a girlfriend and his mate's giving him bad advice and then out of the blue this other guy just comes along with the best advice ever, just be yourself. And that's really the best way to find a find your loved one, just be yourself. And for that bit where Sek has to turn while he's watching Minnie's Runaway. I actually kept on filming that, I just didn't really stop recording and obviously I cut out the bits where my hand shows up. 
I thought that would, because I thought since I started filming it, I thought it would make sense to carry on filming rather than just doing. Oh, I just spotted Mr. Hand there. <laughs> My hand pushing Percy there. Yeah, in a way, I suppose you could see that as like a reference to Mr. Hand showing up in the Flying Kipper episode of the TV series. So, you could call that a mistake or perhaps a callback to that original mistake to the episode. And from this point on, Percy and Minnie are boyfriend and girlfriend as we see in the short that comes a few years after this one. And I had a lot of fun working on this video, it was just a great joy to write and work on. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!